Being a stubborn dickhead that I am, it took me only three years to try some water sports in Bali. And once I did, I actually really enjoyed it. So join us on our trip to the north of Bali, where we're gonna do some free diving. Good morning! The weather is still pretty crap, but today is the big day. We are about to go to try to pass our uh, level 1 freediving exam. It's around 7 am, so there's still time for a quick breakfast. And we still need to ride for around like 35 minutes to get to the diving school. So in order to pass SSI level 1, you have to be able to uh, dive to 10 meters, then you duck dive, as you can see it's here, well approximately, that, that's a pretty fat duck. You have to be able to save your instructor from 5 meters of death, and you have to go down 10 meters, take off your mask. Uh, to kind of imitate the situation if your equipment breaks. Before that you also have to have some theoretical classes and uh, some practice in swimming pool. I was actually quite surprised that I didn't have a lot of problems to hold my breath for two minutes in the swimming pool. But uh, diving in the sea of course gives some extra psychological pressure because well swimming pool is still a safe environment but once you're in the sea and you cannot see a bottom it's uh, quite, quite psychologically difficult to get over yourself. It's pretty insane to think that the world record uh, of freediving is 130 meters while I am struggling here with 10. Probably the most complicated uh, issue was uh, adjusting the pressure in your ears, which you literally have to do every half a meter or a meter going down. Otherwise, you're getting very strong pain in your ears. So if you would like to try it yourself, I will put the links in the description below about the schools that I use to learn. <laughs> 